Get Hi, away. I'm Nolan. I'm uh, with Cascadia Cutlery. Um, I carry a variety of uh, both custom and production knives. Um, I'm actually a sharpener. I sharpen 50 to 100 knives a day by hand. And uh, this is uh, kind of my escape from my cubicle. So I carry a bunch of really cool custom makers. One of my big goals when I started this, I actually worked for 10 years for Benchmade. And I carry a lot of great production knives, but there's not a great marketplace for a lot of, especially Northwest makers and, and uh, custom knives. And so one of the things I, I do is I bring in, I have uh, between six and eight at a time different custom makers I work with. Um, names like uh, Nick, Nick, Nick Marcellia, I, I butcher his last name every time, season four champion Forge and Fire. Uh, in fact, I got one of his knives here in my hand. Um, old school Forge Works, beautiful uh, work. He does a lot of, uh, a lot of sand mai and uh, very quick, quick uh, knives in a lot of cases. Uh, the edge is harder than the, uh, than the spine on these. Uh, all hand pinned, handmade. I'll show you a few others of his. This is actually the one I've been nerding out on. This is a sand mai knife. This is, um, this is Damascus. I like that ghostly pattern. Sandwich around uh, 1095. It's been hardened to a Rockwell a 6061. It's a, again, very, very easy feel on it. It's a uh, Coca Bolo wood. Uh, he does uh, mosaic pins by Jake Knives. Um, I also work with uh, George Morales out of uh, out of Bend, Oregon. Absolute genius grinds. It's all done with a pair of calipers all the way through. There's no CNC or laser cut on that. Um, that geometry is just something that you don't get out of a production knife. Um, and just beautiful flow to his knives. Um, ingenious stuff like that giant jimp on the back that just gives you all kinds of uh, control over that blade. Work with uh, Jeremy Valentine out of the Dalles. Uh, love Jeremy's stuff. He's actually here today. When we get to the other end, I might uh, do some introduction here. That's a Jack by Jeremy Valentine. I have Scouts. This is actually the same as uh, my per one of my personal carry knives is a Scout. Uh, these are all hand ground, handmade, done with love, which I, I like. Jeremy does all of his own sheath work. Um, does both Kydex and leather. I work with uh, Brian Wages out of Eugene. I'm actually sold down a lot on a lot of his stuff, although he brought me kick-ass short sword yesterday. That's Brian Wages. He actually did uh, carry knives for all of my guys for the show. I have a couple large ones. But these little dashi knives. I've seen some of his other dashi work. They're a convex zero degree grind. Uh, he actually did the sheaths in the uh, same color as my uh, website, which I was pleased with. But let's talk about uh, Johnny Mayhem. Johnny Mayhem Outlaw Machinist. I know him best as John Metz. He's actually a sideshow artist. He makes some of the best handmade uh, book weights on the planet. Yes, he makes NUX. They are all handmade, though. No CNC, no laser cut. They are all tooled. And he uses a lot of cool recycled materials. For instance, that's bus bar right there, copper bus bar. Uh, that's snowboard right there. You can see that's a nice old 1970s snowboard. He does really great uh, recycled materials, a lot of aluminum. Those are like butter. Uh, Johnny's funny because he's got a great sense of humor too. Uh, I like working with him. Jay Geblin is out of Forest Grove, another maker I really like working with, Integrity Implements. Um, I love his stuff because it is all handmade. There is no CNC, no laser cut, no water cut. Um, they are just built like a tank. His, much of his stuff is on battlefields all over the world, and his, his take on warranty is that if you threw it at the tank, he wants to know why you threw it at the tank. Um, Jay is a really fun maker to work with. That's a purple heartwood and leopard wood. Um, Jay brings me all kinds of great, he calls this the scavenger, use it for everything from skinning to mushroom hunting, um, all hammer forge, uh, old school forge works. Jay, if, if nothing else, absolute passion in his work. But there's also very few knives you can take and hang 500 pounds off of, and his stuff will take that. So I will say a uh, motto that we've had since we began for everyone, regardless, I carry a lot of high-end knives, but you should always buy the best knife that you can afford and then actually carry it. We are on a Cascadia Cutlery, so same as my branding, CascadiaCutlery.com. Uh, you can uh, you know, just www.CascadiaCutlery.com. It's actually the fault line that we're all sitting on top of here in the Northwest. Uh, it was also a secessionist movement at one point in time, and this is, uh, this is actually my secession from my cubicle at this point, is, uh, is this business.